What is going on people and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now today, I am bringing you a video that is very highly requested. Something that a lot of you guys have asked me to actually do and I'm quite nervous for it. Before I kind of explain what we're doing, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. The big red subscribe button down below. If you want to join the channel as well, make sure to hit the join button. It's really, really much appreciated. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, to hit the like button. We've got over 2,000 likes on the first kind of episode of this. And if you want to see a third part, I don't know how we'd do it depending on how today goes, then let me know in the comment section below and hit the like button. That will really tell me that you want to see it. Anyways, enough rambling. Let me tell you exactly what we're doing today. We are meeting up with my childhood bully yet again. Now, uh, just to remind you how the first uh, meeting with the child bully went, here's a here's a little preview. You remember at school, I was flicking things at you. Why, why are you throwing a fag at me? No, no, no. Why are you throwing no, a fag at me? No, no, no. no. Why are you throwing a fag at me? Oh, it was school. Nah, he used yeah, to do that back at school, bro. Yeah. It was school, chill. What chill. do you mean it was school, too? You just threw a fag at me it. right there. Go on, then do it. There's no point. I might as well go. You, right, you're not going anywhere. Oh. No, no, no. You want to go? No, no, no. You want to no, go? No, 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 no. Right, I'm Lewis, bigger than you now. Lewis, back off. I'm bigger than you now. Don't even. Lewis, Lewis, I'm bigger Lewis than he's not worth it. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis he's not worth it. Do you know how angry and sick you make me in the head? Why, what? Because I used to knock you back. This guy used to throw chairs at me, bro. This guy used to throw chairs at me. Come on, batter me. Come on, I want it. You said you'd take all three of us, so take all three of us. Look. Jill, hey. Lewis. Who's getting battered now? Who's getting battered now? Jill. No, it's back. He's on the floor. No, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So yeah, the child bully wasn't a very pleasant guy. He seems to have been uh, a big drug-influenced idiot. Uh, he bullied me five years throughout my school career, and then he tried to be my best pal, turning up expecting me to be friends with him. After releasing the video, uh, a lot of you guys in the comments supported uh, the fact that I'd, I'd met up with him and, and, and shown him a bit of a taste of his own medicine. And also a lot of you guys said that I became the bully. I was bullying him. Him and I was like har harassing him. The fact that I bought three friends is maybe a starter. And you guys, if you watched the video, you would have know how that ended. So I thought that I would arrange to meet up with him again, which I don't know how because he did get terrorized. To be fair, I did I hold my hands up. I was a bit, a bit nasty. What can you expect though from what he put me through? But I was a bit nasty. He has agreed to meet up with me again today. He is going to be here in 15 minutes' time. I'm literally in a random area, a car park where other people are around. I think he's a bit nervous. I'm going to go with a different approach. I have got Harvey with me, who is going to be the cameraman, just in case we go and do anything, and that will come out later, depending on how he acts. Um, I will need a cameraman, but Harvey's not going to get involved. He's not going to say anything. It's literally me and the child bully. I'm going to speak to him. I'm going to try and be a bit more professional, a bit more nice, uh, and hear his side of things, because absolutely nothing that went on in his life gives him an excuse to bully an individual at school. No one deserves to be bullied, but there might be a wider picture to it. He might have gone through some more stuff that kind of opens up why he became a bully and we might be able to sympathize it a little bit i'm not sure we're gonna wait for him we're gonna see if he turns up um as i say if you do enjoy the video please hit the like button and, and, and let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm just gonna apologize to him for how he was treated and um we'll go from there right so i have been waiting uh half an hour prior to when the childhood bully was meant to turn up jake was his name we've already said it on camera jake was his name been half an hour he still hasn't I thought I heard saying he still hasn't arrived. Me and Harvey are getting pretty bored, aren't we, bro? Yep. Still waiting for him. Uh, so hopefully he does turn up at some point. We're gonna give it another half an hour, and if he doesn't turn up, we're gonna call it off, uh, not film anything, and and just go, really, and just I guess he's just stood us up. We'll give it a bit more time. Wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 look. That's someone. It's him. No, bro. What's going on that? How you doing? Alright. You wanted to do that last time, so we'll do it this time, yeah? Why? Just a bit of respect. For what? Come for the seven. Um, so I wanted to chat to you about a couple of things. First of all, I want to apologise. I uh, just want to apologise for the way that we conducted ourselves last time. As you can see, I've got one person here now, and he's not going to say a single word. He's not going to threaten you. He is not going to bully you. We're, I'm not sorry. Okay. Um, he is is purely just here to film because you know we film just in case for safety and obviously for the YouTube purposes. You saw the video went up. I contacted you and asked to meet you again. I know you're a bit sceptical, but I want to apologise uh, just for the way you felt. I I think I deserve an apology. 
regarding what you put me through for five years, but we'll get to that later, it's not important right now. What's happened recently is that I brought a couple men up to you, bullied you, made you feel uncomfortable, and I wanna, I wanna apologize for that. So if, you, if you'll accept that apology. Secondly, before we start, and this might seem quite offensive, but it's really not meant to seem quite offensive. Can you just turn out your pockets for me? Only reason I say this, and I'll do mine too if you want, but I remember what you were like in school. You kind of gave me an inkling of what you're still like the other day, and I don't want to be feel threatened at all. I don't want any weapons, so I've just got vape. Whilst we're on the topic of uh, vape products, let me tell you about this. So I've been invited to join the new Zuvu online launch event, which is through Instagram on the 29th of June. This is my ticket. This is my ticket into the launch event. And it's going to be hosted on Instagram on Zuvu's official Instagram account. Zuvu are going to be drawing 1,000 different testers during the event day. And there's going to be 1,000 different drag bars hosted for giveaway. So I need to make sure you guys all attend the event. Down below into the description to Zuvu's official Instagram page. Drop them a cheeky follow. And I'll see you on the 29th of June at the event. Phone. Everything. Go for it, bro. There we go. You do you, do you just to make sure that there's no weapons on you. Obviously, we've met in a public place this time. So... No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Right, and I, I apologise to you. Seriously. Cool. From the bottom of my heart. So, I I kind of want to know, like honestly, why you bullied me, but without, like, why did you bully me and like terrorising you and stuff? I want I want to know. I, people want to know at home as well. A lot of people have seen the video. The video went viral on TikTok. I've seen. I've seen. Um, a lot of people said to me that I was right for doing what I did. I gave you a taste of your own medicine. And a lot of people said that bullying the bully, like I became the bully, I made you feel uncomfortable, which I understand. So that's the only reason you're doing this? Because people told you to. <coughs> nah, not at all. I did, I have had a long think about it and I have thought to myself that maybe it wasn't right to bring so many people. If you want to come out as well, like I feel bad for pushing you in the corner, like I don't yeah, mean I'll to. Go over it, yeah, it. go for it. I don't, I don't mean to, to feel like I've pushed you into a corner or anything like that. But at the end of the day, um, I wanted to meet up with you again, to try again. I still want answers. People want answers. I want to know why you did what you did, but without the threatening, without the... Because you were very cocky, I was very cocky, there was a lot of tension. You didn't expect what's happening. You're here now, you know what's going on, you know what I'm asking for. And, and maybe we can start with a new leaf, so obviously there might be a backstory to it. I, I don't know really, but I just want to know exactly why you did what you did. And, and um, how we can kind of move on from it, because ideally right now I don't like you, no. Because you I put, see you around all the time though, you know this. I see you in the street all the yeah, time. Yeah, but we don't chat. No, but I see you all the you time. You might see me, but we don't chat. Like, no, we're not we friends. Clear the air, though. Five, five years of shit, a couple years has gone on. We haven't spoke. We've seen each other, but we haven't spoke. We haven't, like, no, nothing's happened. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we haven't made up. You haven't apologised until then. Like, nothing's happened. And then all of a sudden you come, like, thinking that we're best pals. It just, it set me off. It, it made me feel off guard. It made me feel like, how, how is this guy done what he'd done for five whole years and then out of nowhere like wants to be my best pal because I've got a couple of followers on the internet like it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me and then obviously that's why I acted the way I did that's why I felt like you deserve it do you know what I mean and and don't get me wrong like back then if, if there wasn't other people there and there wasn't a camera around I reckon it would have been even more different I'd have, I was so angry because I can forgive and forget like no matter the circumstance like i don't think anything that you can tell me right now gives you an excuse for why you would bully someone there's no there's no reason uh, there's no to excuses bully i understand what you're saying but there's a reason behind it and it's not an excuse but there's a reason for exactly it. so i want to hear that in a sec but like there ain't an excuse so for me back then i was just angry that you thought that you could just walk into my life and be my friend after you did what you did without an apology without nothing yeah because you see me around that, that don't mean nothing, do you know what I mean? But now, obviously, what happened, what happened? I'm kind of glad it happened and you were treated that way because you know how I felt. At the same time, I didn't like myself. I didn't feel like the way I presented myself towards you last time we met up, I didn't like myself. That wasn't me, that's not the real me. That's why I apologise, bro, because the way you made me feel on that day, if I've made you feel like that at all, then I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it was, I appreciate that. It was five years, five years of constant, constant stuff. Like, in my opinion, Bullying is is a thing where, like, you constantly do it. It happens over a, a mad period of time. I did that to you for like half an hour once. 
So, in my opinion, I didn't bully you. But what I did do was terrorise and, and make you feel uncomfortable or be, be a dick, do you know what I mean? Which I apologise for. So, should we, should we step out the way of people? Obviously, I don't want people to. Yeah, I don't want people to think that oh, you're a bully. Let's let's attack him because pe people don't like bullies. You know what I mean? People don't like. Them. And and at the end of the day, I don't want you to feel threatened in public. Like you're not a paedophile, as far as I'm aware, anyway. So let's just keep it between me and you. As I say, I'm not here to scrap. I'm not here to just cause any drama. But I am here to to sort out what went wrong. So. Obviously, people know your name's Jake. You, you wore the mask again. You probably knew that the camera was going to be yeah, here. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, sure you don't want your identity shown. I can respect that. But would you like to tell me or tell the people, whatever, what you have been through or what, what caused you to become a bully? Because if there is people out there that are going through the same sort of stuff that you're going through or you went through, they might not turn to bullying people and taking out their anger that you've got in your life on other people, but they might deal with it a different way. Maybe say the, the way you you wish you dealt with it because there are millions of people out there that probably have gone through the same thing as you that as I say I don't know what it is yet but like that they they can't deal with and you've, you've just used bullying other people and making other people feel like shit because I wasn't the only one you bullied at school right you might have used loads of other people um, like you might educate them do you know what I mean by just watching this video if that makes sense so tell me what you want to tell me do you know what I mean like explain what you can explain because I know that you mentioned on the message that, that you want, you've got more details you kind of want to explain so the floor's yours do you know what I mean I've never spoken like this to anyone no one never okay. I've been in a lot of gangs as you know I've been you know in a lot of violence in my life yeah so I've never had the opportunity that you're giving me today so I appreciate that first of all just come I'll come down but it's not been easy for me, right? And it's not easy for everyone, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But in my, my circumstances, my dad used to beat me. Yep. Used to drink very heavily. Okay. Because my mum my mum left him, and I haven't seen my mother for about 20, 21 years, since I was about six. Okay. That's sad. So I used to drink a lot, he used to hit me, and my, uh, my younger brother. Okay. And I used to watch that every single day. And the only way I can get through that is going back back into my room, in my little hole, and lash it out. So when you're at school, people are talking about, you know, that dad took him to a football game. Yeah. Yeah, it just gets to me, right? And I hear it in the back of the mind, back of the classroom. So I did take it out on you. Uh -huh. you. You were small. You, you weren't, you know, as broad as you are now. Yeah, yeah. I took it out on you. I attacked you. I, it wasn't just you, as I'm sure you know. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just anyone in my firing line. And he used to do a lot of drugs, and he left them around the house one time. I got involved in it, Okay. and I was hooked. I really was. Are I you still taking drugs? Yeah. What? What can you specify? Like what sort of drugs? Heroin. Heroin. I guess you're on early stages of that. Yeah. Yeah. I've not. I've not fully gone into that yet. Okay. Um, but it gives me that high. It gives me the relief. The escape. Are you still living at home with your parents? I can't remember if you, you told me before. I moved out into a flat. Okay. I, I, I don't want to see my dad again. And, and you're not working? No. Your brother? He still lives with my dad. Um, okay. I've done, done ketamine, cocaine. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously you, you're trotting it around a bit to get some money to live. I have to. I have to. No, that makes I, sense. I I've, I'm, I've not got a job. You know what I mean? If I get, you know, um, a couple of grams of cocaine, I'll half that and have half myself to keep yeah, me going yeah, for a day yeah, and the yeah. other half I'll mix with a little bit and, and sell on. I have to. How am I meant to pay my rent? That makes sense. Come. Come, bro. Now, let me tell you something. Right. At this current stage, just because you told me a story, which I'm sure there's a lot more details to, and if you want to explain, we can now or in our own time, whenever. Just because you told me a story, I don't like you. I'm not your best friend. But... I understand because what well, I do and I don't I had a family my parents never hurt me they gave they took me to football matches you know like you, you say and you envy that and you're angry about that and that's why you did what you did it's an explanation not an excuse which we stated earlier have you got so, siblings I have yes brother sister brother sister yeah how are they they're calm 
they're, they're still yeah, living yeah. at home. We get on, do you know what I mean? They live at home, I live on my own, they're fine. I feel, feel comfortable with them living at home because my parents are not going to beat them, do you know what I mean? Whereas you're obviously probably worrying about your brother all the time. Exactly, so, so that's what I was wondering. What we're going to do here, and this is an act of kind will, because I, I, I've looked into how I treated you last time, and everyone might agree or disagree. I don't, I don't care about everyone else at this current stage. This is what I want to do, because I feel like, obviously, I could laugh at you, I could treat you like shit for five years, but what's that going to gain? I did that a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, whatever, and I felt shit in myself. I, like, putting you, your feelings aside, I felt shit in myself for how you felt or how I made you feel. So this time, you've told me that, I'm gonna try and offer some help. As I say, right now, I don't like you. You never know, five years time, I might be best friends. You know, I, mean? I might be able to put behind me what you did because you were young. You kind of have an explanation. Does that make sense? Not an excuse, but an explanation. So I'm gonna try and help you out, right? Um, as your parents, well, your dad, because I guess your mum, she wasn't around, has, she, has he ever taken you anywhere nice? Never. If there was one thing that you could say you'd want to do with me and me and Harvey right now, there's something that you would you would want to go and do in the local area, like without obviously taking a piss because we can't just fly to America. Do you know what I mean? What what would you want to do? One time we went to banger racing and he got pissed up um, and left me there. Okay, it's a bad experience. Bad experience. Yeah, that's yeah. the only time I've ever, he'd ever taken me out anywhere okay. ever. So what would you want to do if I said to you, I've got a bit of money right now, we'll go no, do something? No, 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 genuine, genuine, like. Try and break the ice a bit. Try and break the ice from the fact that we're enemies or we're, we're not friends or whatever. If there's something that you could say, let's go and do it right now, it doesn't matter how cheap, expensive, whatever, like, what would you want to go and do together right now? I mean, I've never played bowling. Bowling? I played it on the Wii at one of my boys' house before. Um, what, like bowl, bowling in a, yeah, an alley? Yeah, yeah, I've never been there properly. I played it's it on, on the Wii. We'll go bowling today, if you're free. Yeah? I haven't got a drop till four. We'll go, we'll go bowling today, and then after bowling, we'll have a chat, and we'll see if there's a way that we can, because I've got some connections, I have a little team that works behind the scenes, we'll see if we can get in contact with your brother, get him some help. How old is he? My brother? Yes. 15, 16. 15, so he's soon going to be able to be moving out, but we'll try and see what we can sort out, so maybe he could be moved in with you, yeah, and obviously I'm, like I'm guessing you wouldn't want him around the drugs, so we're going to see if maybe we can help you i already like pre-planned this this little bit here with the drugs because i knew you took drugs i had a scenario i said if i go meet him today and he's a dick then we'll just walk away because he can't help himself but you've been very sincere you've been very honest very soft i have a lot of sympathy for you whether you want it or not I have a lot of sympathy for your situation um and and i thought to myself i spoke to harvey I spoke to our team i said look we'll try and help him with the drugs we've helped people before that have been homeless put them in hotels blah 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 all that shit. but with you We'll see what we can sort out. I'm not just going to give you a life. I'm not just going to give you hundred, hundred thousand pounds, for example, and, and just be like, go, go, um, and piss it all up with drugs, or go and buy a mansion, for example. It's not going to be like that, but it's going to be something where we can try and help you, like start your life again, right? Because I believe that my sense of goodwill will send someone else to do some goodwill. It might send you to do some goodwill instead of obviously bullying people. You've obviously changed a certain extent. You're not a bully anymore. Right, I could tell that from the last clip that I watched back, you weren't bullying me, you were cocky. Anyone can be cocky, am I right? Um, Trust me. Exactly, so I think if, if we start off, we go play a bit of bowling. There's a bowling alley about 20 minutes down the road. How did you get here? I ain't got a car, have I? You walked? Yeah. We'll jump in my car, go play bowling. I'll drop you off wherever you want afterwards. We'll have a little chat, we'll work with you. Obviously, I'm putting this on the internet, if you're happy with that bring the camera to bowling do you know what i mean if you're happy with your story going out there whatever it, as i say there's probably millions of people in your position instead of going to school and taking out on others reach out for someone like for some help yeah because i bet you didn't do that i bet you wish you did that but you spoke to a teacher or a police officer or family friend that's legit am i right so yeah how does bowling sound today and we'll, we'll work the rest over time it's not all going to come instantly but we'll work it over time yeah i really appreciate that calm okay i'm gonna get paid for the vids no, no, you're joking, not, joking, you're joking, not joking, gonna joking. get paid. Thank for you, man. I really appreciate that. No worries, bro. Thank you. So, so um, thank all the viewers, well for nice no, calm. As I say, even if the viewers hadn't turned round to me and said that they thought I was out of order, because there were some that supported what I did. They're like, "Thank you, you've done it for every bully in the UK, every victim in the UK." Like there were some people that really supported me. The video went viral. As I say, but there was a lot of people that also thought that it was wrong. 
and, and that's why I want to I want to step up I want to change the atmosphere and I want to help you this time and, and we'll go from there you never know you might see Jake the child bully whatever the childhood bully whatever you want to be called I guess you don't want to be named after the, the childhood bully anymore uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens but come along with us we'll, we'll go play some bowling and then maybe we'll chat afterwards yeah Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's jump in the car. Let's go. So you're looking forward to your first bowling session. Got that, got the bros keep bowling. Let's go. It's not bad, you know, they're not bad bro, not bad. It's probably been around a million places, <laughs> just realised. That's not good. Come on. Let's go, let's go. How was that, my bro? That was Bowling. Good. That's good. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. I did beat you. Mm. I guess because you've never done it before. My score was shit anyway, but it's not about the score. It was, it was a laugh. I don't know what footage we can add into this video because there was a lot of music in there and it was quite loud. Um, but how did you how did you feel about that? No, I really enjoyed it. I really, honestly really appreciate it. Well, really whilst you have been bowling with me, I received a message from my team. Obviously, I just went for a toilet just before we come out of the bowling alley. Um, my team have hooked you up with something. Now, you don't have to take it, but it's a step towards a new life. Um, we have got you into the job centre. Really? Yes. I don't know if you've been trying or you haven't bothered. Um, they're aware of your situation. We didn't link too much of the, the drugs and stuff, but that will have to knock it on its head. But they're going to hopefully contact you today or tomorrow, uh, get you involved with oh, some work. Nah, so it's much. calm, bro. It's calm. It's calm. We're going to get you involved with some work. Thank you um, so much. And you can chat to them about what job you want to do. Maybe we'll have a catch up in a couple of months' time, see what job you're doing. Maybe we'll go play bowling again or just support a football team. Yeah. We'll go and, we'll go and watch a football, walk football team. Swansea. Swansea. We'll go watch a football team. Swansea, Wales. Swansea City, yeah. yeah Fair yeah. enough. Maybe we'll go watch a football team, football game. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm a Chelsea boy, so we can watch Chelsea Swansea if that ever happens. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> uh, one more thing just before we go. So I'll, I'll hook you up with all the details off camera about the job centre. One more thing just before we go, um, I've got a little gift for you. Um, this is the Sia pudding, brand new, unreleased yet before this video goes out. By the time this video goes out, CF Clothing, link in the description. Sorry, I've got to plug that, maybe you can set for me. CF Clothing. You sure? This is for you, bro. I've got a medium for you. Um, it's a nice hoodie, brand new, luxury hoodie. They're on our website right now if anyone does want to get them, as I say, little plug. Um, but that yeah, that's Thank for you, you bro. So that's calm, man. That's for you. I would appreciate that. Obviously, you've got to hook you up with CF clothing. And um, yeah. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll see what goes down as we go. But yeah. I'll be blessed. Take it easy. Cheers. Thank you. Let's drop you. Do you want to go to the train station? Yes, yeah, it's pretty possible. The train. There's police hanging around. Is that anything to do with you? <laughs> we should probably go now. Let's though. get in the car then. We'll probably go now. Um, and uh, climb up. Yeah. We will. Um, Feels good.